Hello everyone, welcome back to Two Point Campus and the two and three star objectives on Piazza Lanatra. We already have a level five club and our campus level is already 12 of 12. We're just gonna uh, book in our next event in our kitchen, which is to win the county cook-off. And then we just need to get our average hygiene rating up over 70%. The cook-off starts in 17 days and um, everything else is looking pretty good. We're just gonna throw down some hand sanitizers everywhere around the campus and maybe we should put another shower block in. So I'll probably do that now. Let's put one down here next to these dormitories and we've actually got a little bit of spare space there so we'll extend it. Now, what I'm going to do in the new term just before we start year four is expand the campus. We're going to buy a new plot of land and then I'm going to do a speed build and show you exactly what I've done to prepare for the next term. Our finances are uh, struggling a little bit, so I think just hitting a soft reset button on this will help us out in the long term. And also, I always used to do this in Two Point Hospital as well, if you're still following that playthrough. I would get to a point where I'd redevelop everything, because with Two Point Hospital, you kind of grow into these new plots, and as your reputation goes up, you need to do a little bit more work and add more rooms in left, right, and centre, and then kind of improve the patient flow. I think you need to kind of improve your student flow through here. As you add more rooms in, and the courses progress, and you level up those courses and take on more students, you've got to do that little bit of work. I'm just in my library right now, adding in the new gastronomy bookcase. Now, I'm not really sure if the gastronomy or, and virtual normality bookcases have the same effect, or if it's just specific to that course. So if you're doing coursework, oh, we've won the county coup off, which is really good. Uh, our students really take the cake, all of the cake. So yeah, if I'm having gastronomy students in here, does the virtual normality bookcase improve their learning ability? Or is that just specific to that course? Which is why I've put those gastronomy bookshelves in anyway. I've not done much testing on it, but it's uh, worth kind of thinking about as we put in a few more hand sanitizers in our new student land, which still doesn't have much furniture in, but it's better than nothing, I guess. It did just rain frogs as well. That does happen. Oh, there we go. Two star objectives complete. We've unlocked romantic film, ripped cords, the celebrity cook-off. Sandwiches. Which is our next objective. So, three stars, we need 100 students on campus, we need to satisfy 20 chef personal goals, a B grade, B plus grade in gastronomy, which we have an A grade now, so we're doing pretty well, and win the county cook, the celebrity cook off, not the county cook off, we've already won that one. We've got a bunch of reports here to clear and accept a few more little missions. They want a dining table, I'm not giving them it, uh, but we will have a student union party to celebrate us winning our county cook off. So, I'm going to jump forward to the end of the year. We're going to have a look at what awards we got, and then it's speed build time. So the majority of our students are looking like they're going to pass this year. We've got a couple who are pretty low in their grades, but they are first years. And here we go, the academic year has finished. What do we get? 100% pass rate, 10 graduates, 47 continuing to the next term, one club, 45 students in it. It's all speed walking club. And then an average environment attractiveness of 81% and a room prestige of four. Excellent. What did we win? Student Choice Award, Campus of the Year, and the Queen of Clubs awarded to the campus with the best club. Speed Walking Club doing very well. Okay, so money, not great. We need one more science lab and two scientography teachers. Then we can start working on our three-star goals. So I am now going to do as I promised and start deleting everything. All of our campus buildings are going to go just looking at some of the extra plots, there's absolutely loads. I didn't realise there was this many. And they all wrap around that little kind of Venetian-looking square. I mean, it it reminds me of St. Mark's Square in Venice, but it's definitely not based on that because of the uh, different architecture in the buildings. But here we go, we're selling off everything. Some of this stuff we've not actually unlocked, I don't think, so it's a shame to lose it, but I would much rather get rid of it so I can redevelop everything from the ground up. That includes the campus building. So let's get to our speed build and I will continue explaining why I want things to change and what I want to do. And at the moment we don't have blueprints, so we're just going to be designing the rooms as we go. But I'll explain everything as we continue with that build. See you guys in one moment. So we're going to start by building our new campus buildings. 
This one's going to be a horseshoe shape, and what I want to do is use this for my dormitories and my shower facilities and toilets. Oh, we can't do it that way, so we'll do the next part of the horseshoe first. I think that's about right, and then we'll put in our doorways, and that one, that that's done. Next up, this area here is going to form the basis of our um, student unions, staff rooms and stuff, and maybe the library, if we can't fit it in anywhere else. And there's going to be a lot of like food kiosks and stuff here. And this is basically going to be where the students can go to hang out, participate in activities, and we will finally fit in a staff room as well. Over here, this campus building is going to be purely for our gastronomy courses. And then there's going to be a smaller one here for Scientography. And that works. We can speed this up now without starting our next academic year. And those buildings will complete themselves. There we go. We're campus level nine again. We were at, I think, 14 beforehand now we're putting in our staff room and we don't have a lot of items unlocked yet so these are pretty bare there's not going to be much going on in them and i do need to be aware of my budget because last time we spent all of our budget and we did not have enough to complete the staff room and it ended up just being a couch and i think at some point we sold it as well so i'm unlocking some little bits and pieces here little trinkets to put in the rooms because i have enough kudosh to do so i probably should be saving my kudosh for things that will improve the course rooms themselves but i'm not too bothered about that right now here we're going to put in our student union including the new stage that we have just unlocked or unlocked at the uh, one star completion of this level and then we'll put our bar the usual kind of pub type stuff that we're putting in i really like having these little tables around here it makes it look like a little cabaret bar but it allows us to actually put events on that require the use of the stage we put a little backstage backstage he says couch there maybe i could buy the room divider and really separate it off and make it look like this like weird little grotty place <laughs> toilets right next to the student union bar because we're what else you know you break the seal you have to go <laughs> We'll put our student lounge in with a door that goes all the way through because on the other side I'm going to put some seating areas for like a food court and then we'll put in a few vendors and stuff there. Then it's just a case of putting down a lot of like different fun items, some seats, moving a little few things around and then putting a fridge in there as well. And I want to make sure there's plenty of stuff for the students to do when they're actually in here as well. A couple more chairs, couches put in there, a table and a games table, then our record player rug, level 10 campus. Windows always help. I neglected to put any in when I initially designed the room because I quite like to put them in last minute. Uh, it just means that I can make sure that I've covered all of the walls properly and then put those windows in. Next, we're going to put in some food kiosks and drinks vendors, but I think I may move them already and they've been moved into that area there. Then we're going to have our second club, which is the uh, Sleepy, Sleepy, Sleepy Club. Whatever it is. Power Nap Club. That's the one. Is it? And then we put the speed walking wheel down and then some lockers all the way along. Make it look like a proper little old campus high school type thing. It's weird because it's got this quintessentially British feel to it in the like radio and some of the courses and a lot of the kind of mannerisms in it. But the look of the place is definitely a, a very like Americanized type thing. Like the, the banks of lockers or re you don't get that in like British universities or even British like colleges or secondary schools or anything like that. Over in our savory kitchen now, we're unlocking a few more bits and pieces because I really wanted a corner counter, even though they don't quite match up texture wise, which is a bit of a shame. There's still like room for it to go in and I think they look really cool. They add a nice little effect to the kitchen itself. So we've got this lovely long counter now and then we can duplicate that immediately, move the door and in here I will put in our first lecture room with our auto cue, surround sound and a couple of windows just to open out the space a little bit more. We forgot to put some in the gastronomy room so we'll do that now and then the usual kind of stuff to increase the hygiene and make sure there's some bins dotted around too. We'll duplicate this lecture room and move it into this area and then we can do it again for where we're going to have our Scientography course. The sweet kitchen needs to go in next and again I'll put some corner counters down and then separate some little bits and pieces all around the room. The usual kind of stuff that I've found works for me in these cookery based rooms is to have some nice thematic props in there as well 
science lab going in. This one is going to be for Scientography only. We're just going to make sure that they're portioned off correctly and we're only having certain courses in. Now, I don't think it makes much of a difference in the early game, but as you progress and you upgrade everything, it's probably a good idea to just have certain... Because the course timetable will fill up, so you'll need to make sure that you've got enough rooms designated to a particular course. I don't even think I needed to add the Scientography course. I probably would have finished this level a little bit sooner had I not done that. But never mind. Dormitories now, we're going to go with uh, two person dorms. Well, two bed dorms. They're going to actually have ten people in there for some strange reason, because five people seem to love sharing a bed. <laughs> uh, but we've got these put in place. I think that lock is sticking out a little bit, so I could do with adjusting that. But again, we're just decorating, making sure that the prestige level is high as possible, and then starting to duplicate all the way through. We are running out of money, though, so we need to be careful with how we... Uh, conduct ourselves in the next few stages of this build. Uh, I couldn't get that doorway uh, at, a, at a decent angle and it kind of ruins the outside bit, which was really nice. Um, later on though, I get myself a little bit of a surprise and realize my own stupidity. I am obviously dubbing this over the top of a speed build because I did not run the game at this speed, <laughs> just in case you were wondering. Uh, Slightly unorthodox shower block, but I've managed to fit eight showers in there and a couple of towels that have actually allowed me to place them. And then we'll put in a few more dormitories as we're due to have a higher student intake for this next coming academic year. Toilets and showers on another side. I'm going to move that toilet block into this area and then just make it a little bit bigger because I assume when the students have finished their lessons, they're going to need to go to the toilet. We don't have enough money to hire in some teachers, so that's a little bit frustrating. We'll put a couple of planters down, then we'll take out another extended loan. Uh, I don't like that. That's a bit off-center. And it's still off-center. Why am I doing this? Let's get it lined up properly and put these benches in. We're not going to have too many of them. We'll put a little bit of a gap in between them and then put a few more bits and pieces down. Someone can't reach that bat poster, so I'm just going to slap one outside of this room. They can go and look at it. <laughs> like, we've come to see the bat poster. Can we stand outside your dormitory? <laughs> we've taken out another loan and then we've been able to hire our last um, teachers. And of course, I forgot to put in my private tuition rooms. So that one's going in and we're going to set this to Scientography only. Why is that? Oh, okay. The circuit board on the wall was stopping teachers being able to get to their desks. Sure, that's really good. And then we put another one right in there. Cool. Excellent. Just got a couple of things. I just want to uh, make sure that the correct thematic props are in the correct rooms. And then we're going to adjust this toilet here because I don't really like the positioning of that other private tuition room. So then we just need to move over some of the things here so I can shift this door along a little bit, get rid of the window, put the door there, and then just pull these counters up a little bit more. Private tuition room should just about fit in. We do need to make a little adjustment there and get that door right on the corner. So we lose another window and the corner counter, but not too much of an issue. We can now put in our library with these gastronomy bookshelves. I'm gonna try and make this look a little bit better. There we go, that looks nice. It's a shame I didn't have it one extra square because then I could have fit another bookcase in and made that look nice and uniform, but never mind. I'm pretty happy with how that looks. We can put in our computers and little bits and pieces that finish off this room if I could just stop picking the damn thing up to try and move it when I don't need to. More records, computers, and then some posters, and that's good to go. I couldn't fit in a second library, so that one's just going to have to go with uh, both courses using that one. And then I upgraded my course to my stupidity because I then realized I needed to add another savory kitchen and another science lab. So we had to take out yet another loan to try and facilitate this, which means we needed to move our library over into the new student building and then add in a second gastronomy course uh, room, a third savory kitchen, should I say. Okay, so <laughs> I definitely made a bit of a cock up right at the end there by increasing my um, level in terms of the uh, course. But we have started our new academic year. We've done a huge redevelopment. I'm going to um, tell you everything that I've done. Uh, we have kind of got ourselves into a little bit of a sticky financial situation, but we will hopefully be able to recover that in course fees and all of the other stuff that's going to be going on over the course of the academic year. So uh, I've started to build like a little quad out here. It's nothing special, but we don't need to worry about that right now. Now then, what have we got? Uh, someone wants a speed walking sign. We'll put that down somewhere. We'll stick one out here. 
right there. Basically what we've done is we've moved all the kind of social food based stuff into this area. We have our staff room in here. They are throwing litter all over the floor despite the fact that there's a bin right there. Of course, typical staff behaviour. Over here, our student union now has a stage. We've then got some toilets, um, the student lounge, the library. Over here we've got some kiosks and the uh, court, not the course, the club signups. Lots of seating areas here for people to sit down and eat. And then over here we have our dorms. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dormitories, one, two shower blocks and a toilet block over here. Then here we have our science part of the campus where there's a lecture room, two science labs specifically for, we've got one that's mixed use and we've got one here that's specifically for scientography. In here we have our scientography lecture theatre and then there's a scientography private tuition room and then in here our gastronomy stuff. So we've got three big gastronomy labs a uh, savory lab and a sweet lab then we have private tuition for gastronomy classes only we've actually got a science lab for gastronomy only this one is a mixed use one and then we have some toilets and that's about it really so the students do have a long way to go to uh, cover the ground in the campus i'm hoping it's not going to uh, cause too much of an issue but there we go we've made a nice monthly profit of twenty thousand dollars and we can start eking away at that debt that well the loans that we have in we are actually going to book in our celebrity cook off now we might as well try and get that out of the way as quickly as we can Apparently we can't. Oh, we need the gastronomy course up to level five. Right, I see. Uh, well, actually, what we can do, because... Let's have a look at our course management. We should be able to do that now. Yep, we can. Right, okay, that's good. We've got that upgraded, so next year, we will be able to put that in and do the celebrity cook-off. We'll have more students on campus, and we should have knocked out those 20 chef personal goals as well. So this year, I guess all we can do is uh, focus on doing some outside areas with some nice benches and stuff. Speed walking club would like a speed walking track. <laughs> uh, I don't have the kudosh for it, unfortunately. Let's get in a few more bins, because this is still a bit of an issue with litter over here. Astronomy assessment, and then again, monthly profit coming in. We can pay off that final loan. Right, nice and easy. Speedwalking clubs still want their speedwalking track. I don't, I can't do it for you lot, sorry. Why, why is stuff not getting cleaned up here? Do I need a sixth janitor? Oh, you're very quick. Get that done. Bang. Got him. And that's bookworms. Con collect three bookworms. Now our janitor's getting to work. Student lounge party, sure thing. we do that. Book it in in June to celebrate the end of the academic year. Frog rain, a microscope needed. Don't have one, can't do one, sorry. So the hygiene rating definitely drops when they all leg it from one end of the uh, campus to another. I'm going to throw down some uh, more of these hand sanitizers. Their skin is going to be dry as all hell with all of the alcohol. <laughs> it's the end of the academic year and we are finally going to see how well we do. Let's have a look at what we won this year. 17 graduates, 69 continue to the next year. No expellations, no failed and no dropouts. Total student relationships, 52. We won the King of Hearts award. We won the Queen of Clubs with two clubs, 70 students with Speed Walking Club, the most popular one. Teacher of the Year went to Piper Mills, who only works in the extra tuitions, and she's done 15 sessions. Our average environment attractiveness has gone up to 82%, as well as our average room prestige. Look at that. What a great year. Well done, graduates. Let's have a look at how our courses are looking. We have that now up to level five. And I'm just going to slow it down, pause it all the way. They want a crazy tax machine, I can't do. We've got a good open day report, a student union party. We can put that in to begin the year and welcome all of our students back. And then that's good. We need one more sweet kitchen and an additional gastronomy teacher. Now, our problem here is we don't have a lot of space left now in this area that we've built out. 
uh, when well, in fact we've got none at all. <laughs> so what I think might be good is, can I fit another sweet kitchen in here and we'll just start to combine these areas right against the wall. Right now we should be able to pick this up and just slot it in the gap here. Just a couple of windows to sell I think. And then we can duplicate our sweet kitchen and really fingers crossed. Ah no. I mean we did make our sweet kitchen very big so let's uh, build another one quickly. That should fit in. Okay it does. What we need to do though is just edit this. We're going to pick the science board up here and just get rid of it. Then I'm going to move the door, put it there, and then we can put the uh, science board back in there. Now we can build our sweet kitchen. Okay, that's good, and we can start our next academic year. We're not going to upgrade any other courses, we just want to help people to get our main one done, and then we will start our celebrity cook-off early in the year, and let's see if we can cook that in for September. It's like we're still kids. How can I get her to take me seriously? We have 115 students. Now all we need to do is win the celebrity cook-off. We actually did the hygiene one as well, which is really good. And uh, that should be us done. So a couple of things that I've learned in this level, I guess, while we're in that cook-off starting. It's just another year. Don't spend all your money at once. <laughs> um... I think I'll probably start designing some blueprints next episode. Maybe I'll do a little bit of an additional episode. But, I mean, the problem is early doors in the career modes. It's exactly the same with Two Point Hospital. You don't have a lot of kudosh, so you can't really get everything. And as you're upgrading all of your rooms and getting the new courses unlocked, you're then going to need to start buying specific things for those rooms, which makes life a little bit difficult because there's a lot to spend your kudosh on. With um, Two Point Hospital, it was pretty easy to find everything. One of the things that I'm finding different to uh, Two Point Hospital is um, a lot of the unlockables are, are quite hard to uh, find. I mean, it's probably because I'm still getting used to the UI, but eventually I'll get there and I'll, I'll understand it a little bit more. Like, we've got a few different things here, um, like Power Up Club stuff and a harp for some strange reason. Lots of, like, topiary things and little walls and hedges and stuff. These are going to make, like, for some beautiful-looking zoo, uh, zoos. <laughs> some beautiful looking campuses when you finally get them all unlocked um, including things like oh there's terrain I can make oh. I wish I'd known this earlier on <laughs> one idiot okay well that is good to know somebody wants a party did I just say no to a party I think I did let's go to the cook-off Let's see how we're doing. We've succeeded in one bit. This um, wonderful judge, the cheesy goblin, has arrived as well. I'm gonna. I'm assuming we're gonna win this easily. We've got one tick. Oh, oh, there we go. We must have won it. <laughs> Three star piazza lanatra complete. We've unlocked helium baboon, which is a new event. I'm not sure what that's. Uh, I. I, I pfft. What is that? What is it? It's amazing how quickly one can go from place in the know to dog and pony show. Where has the time gone? Where was my invite? Where next? We have $30,000 as our reward, 200 kudosh, and we've also obviously already unlocked Mitten University. We did it! We've won the greatest cooking accolade Two Point County has to offer. Good enough for fam famous people. Enjoy the sweet taste of high profile victory. We've unlocked, we, well, we can place the two-player arcade table, got nice monthly profit, and we won the celebrity cook-off. Fantastic. And that's it. We've finished this one. I hope you enjoyed watching it. It was a lot of fun to play and learn a little bit more about the game, as well as kind of designing stuff. I think in future, I'm not going to have this happen with, like, crowds of students running from one edge of the campus to the other. And we'll try and kind of focus things in a little bit more of a 
less slapdash manner. I'm just thinking of it in terms of Two Point Hospital, really, where you kind of had your people coming in, they get their diagnosis, they move on to a treatment room. Totally different here. You've got to work out where they're going to go after their class. Are they going to go to the library to do some studying? Are they going to go to their dorms? Do they want to go to the student lounge? So maybe putting things like student lounges um, in and around these classes would be a better idea or something like that. Who knows? It may well be that they all just ran for food, but I'm not really sure. I think they personally went to the library to work on assignments. So maybe next time we have dorms in one area further away, then student lounge and student union stuff, and then the classes. We'll see how that goes though. I'm not gonna do blueprints from any of the stuff that I've built today because I wanna start all over again and carry on with other stuff as we move on so thanks all for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode and if you've been following through share your tips with me i really would like uh like help with this i like it when people get involved in stuff and give me advice so any tips you could provide especially if you happen to find something that is the equivalent of our gold certificate from two point hospital something that really boosts the prestige of a room thanks for watching guys and i will see you next time Security bye bye